Hi, sixth graders, we're on lesson 11.6, which is area of composite figures. So our learning target is being able to find the area of a composite figure. So you want to write this down in your notebook. A composite figure is two or more shapes combined to form a new shape. And you might want to draw yourself um, an example. So this is a trapezoid, but we can see that this is also, I'm going to make it, this is also a rectangle and a triangle together. So when we're finding the area of something like this, we could find the area of the rectangle and the area of the triangle and then add them together. For this one right here, we could break this up a couple different ways. I see, um, I'm trying to get that a rectangle here and a rectangle here and then a rectangle in the middle. Or you could have done a rectangle or done a line here and a line here and doing a bigger rectangle on the bottom and then two smaller rectangles. So we're breaking it up into shapes that we can easily find the area of. So notice how I'm looking for rectangles, triangles, trapezoids, circles, and so forth. So if we look at this and we can see that part of it is labeled but we can use the other labels to help us figure out what the other sides are. So this is 7 feet but we know that this whole bottom is 18 feet. So if this is 7 feet right here, so let's break this up like this. Then this tells me that this small piece oops, is 7 feet. So then that tells me 18 minus 7 is 11. So then this side is 11 feet. This side then right here would be 11 feet. So same goes. I know that this section right here so this part is 12 feet. So 20 minus 12 is 8. So then that tells me down here it's 8 feet. So over here it is 8 feet. So if I want to find the perimeter, I'm going to add all the sides. So now that I've figured, I've broken up my 18 and my 20, I'm actually just going to cancel this for now so that it's easier for me to count. So I know, again, I know that 12 plus 8 is 20, plus 7 is 27, plus 32 would be 39, plus 11 would be 50, plus 8 would be 58, plus 18 then, because 11 and 17, so 58 plus 18 would be... 76 feet. The area, so we can find the area of this rectangle right here. So this area would be this whole side and that whole side, which is 20 times the other side, which is 7. 20 times 7 is 140 feet squared. The area of this rectangle would be 11 times 8, because I know that both sides is 11 and 8. So 11 times 8, which equals 88 feet squared. And then we add them together. So 140 plus 88, so now 140 plus 60 is 200, and then that tells me that I have 28 left, so it's going to be 228 feet squared. See how I took area of the rectangle, area of the other rectangle, and you add them together. 
Okay, so the area of the outer square, so this is a square, so just because we're told only one side, we know that the, all the other sides are 10 feet. So the outer square, so if we're trying to find the area of the white part only, that's what we're trying to do right now, I would take the area of the outer square, which is 10 times 10, and I get 100. And then the area of the red square is 5 times 5, and I get 25. But instead of adding them together, because I want to take out this part, so I'm going to take 100 minus 25, and I get 75. So the area, oops, that's what I get for talking ahead of where I'm at. So the area of just the white part alone is 75 feet squared. Okay, here we are given a trapezoid, but we can also break this up into um, oh, a triangle and a square. So I'm going to draw a line right here, and now I know that I have a square. So the area of this square is going to be 8 times 8, which is 64 yards squared. I also know that because it's a square, this height is 8 yards. So now I'm going to take the area of the triangle, which is 7. This should have gone a little bit over more. So 7 times 8, and then divide it by 2. So 7 times 8 is 56, and then 56, 56 divided by 2, I just had to make sure, what is, so let's write this out really quick, 7 times 8 divided by 2, it's 56 divided by 2, which is 28 yards squared. So now I'm going to add them together. So I have 64 plus 28, so 64 plus 28 equals 92 yards squared. And then our last example deals with a semicircle, which is this half circle right here. So we have a circle and we have a triangle. So remember the area of a circle is pi r squared. A semicircle, which is half of a circle, would be, so this is a full circle, this is a half circle, so the area would be half times pi r squared. So it's kind of like you're taking the radius of it as if, or the area of it, as if it was a full circle and then we're dividing it in two. So we're given the diameter because this line, if our circle goes out the opposite half, this would be the middle of our circle. So we're going to take one half times 3.14 times 8 squared. So we get 64 times 3.14, which is 200.96, and then we divide it by 2. So we get A equals 100.48 or 148 hundredths. So we're going to put that up here, and we're going to keep our decimal to the nearest hundredth, 100.48. And then the area here, this is our base, this is our height. So 12, so the area of a triangle, remember, is base times height over 2. So 12 times 8. divided by 2 
12 times 8 is 96, divided by 2 is 48. So 100.48 plus 48 equals 148.48 meters squared. So it's really important that you break it up into um, figures that you know how to find the area of and then to make sure that you're using the correct formula to find the area of that figure. Alright, log into um, NICU and take your 11.6 NICU quiz. If you want to see a couple more examples or read a little bit further on composite figures, you can go into your textbook and look in lesson 11.6. Have a super night.